Hi. One of the great joys about being a printmaker is that you get to swap and exchange prints with your friends. So this film is looking at three lino cuts and a wood engraving by my friends that I love having on my walls. This first print is by a great friend of mine called Alan Burton. He is retired now but he was a commercial illustrator all his life and he is an absolute master of the one colour lino cut. So this print I have here is where he lives um, down in Kent and I just love the way that he manages to combine what is basically a derelict sort of farmyard with farm machinery and this beautiful landscape at the back and he had um, a background in wood engraving which I think shows very nicely in the kind of lines and it's just a lovely print with a lovely sense of balance. Um, you're not going to find much about him online I'm afraid unless his son has finally got around to the website he's been talking about for many years so um, I hope you enjoy this print as much as I do. This little lino cut is by contemporary artist Won Jin Ho, who is a friend of mine, and I love it for its dynamism. Now, we met for the first time when we were both keynote speakers at a printmaking conference in Wrexham, and we only met very briefly because she had to dash away to go and meet the Queen, which was like the best excuse ever for not staying very long at a conference. But we did make friends. And while I was there, I, I had this little print from her and it's showing her where she lives in East London on a particularly windy day. She is a really interesting lino cut artist to look at. She often works using lino in an intaglio way as well as in a relief way. So check out her work. This print is by a lino cut artist called Helen Murgatroyd. And Helen, I've known for many years, we first met at the Art in Action Festival where she was demonstrating her printmaking. And Helen, not only does she do beautiful lino cuts, but she is the most extraordinarily creative printmaker. She builds herself all sorts of amazing jigs and machines and devices to printmake with. So if you ever get the chance to see her printmaking, it's really worth seeing. But here, this print is, like so much of her work, all to do with food and healthy eating and nutrition. And I just love the way she composes her picture and how masterful she is at balancing light and dark and still areas and complex areas. So um, visit her site and have a look at her work. But as I say, she is the most amazing printmaker when she's in action. This little print is by artist Robin McKenzie. And unlike the other three prints in this film, it is a wood engraving, not a lino cut. Robin and I have known each other for many years now. And he is not only an amazing wood engraver, but he also is unusual in that he works in reduction. So his wood engravings are actually reduction prints. So this little stormy scene here, as you can see, has colours on it. And I particularly love it for its white space. If you know my work, you'll know that I'm a big fan of white space. And I just love the way that he's composed this picture. Robin is not only a wonderful and experimental printmaker, he also runs Walford Mill, which is an art centre down in Dorset. So if you happen to be in the area, do go and have a look at that and check out his works on his website as well. I hope you've enjoyed this film about some prints by my friends and I hope you'll join me again for another look at the art on our walls.